Yes, it is the most wonderful time of year because it is, in fact, the time that I get to eat six boxes of Little Debbie's without being questioned because we are ranking Little Debbie's Christmas lineup. No, but really it's mid-October, but for whatever reason, not only is all the Thanksgiving and fall merchandise available for purchase in all of your stores, but so is the Christmas merchandise, uh, at least for Little Debbie and our local food line. So we are about to rank these, and there's a couple of them I've never had, so I'm really excited about this. So first, the Christmas tree brownie. Have I had the Christmas tree brownie? I think the answer is yes. It's essentially a cosmic brownie. It's just less cosmic and more jolly. Santa Claus appears happy in that image, but yet he has an oatmeal cream pie in his hand. Could that be foreshadowing into future disappointment? Now, I like that they've got some branding on these, so you could actually sell these individually. That would have been a nice high school or middle school hustle back in the day. The thing about Little Debbie's brownies is they are very dense, very dense. There's nothing airy about these at all. Green icing on the top, cosmic brownie little chocolate chips. Here we go. The Little Debbie Brownie is only a minute amount of density away from being fudge. Now, speaking of Christmas and fudge, my mom makes a fantastic fudge at Christmas time, especially the last few years. It has been on point. Hint, hint, mom. I usually get a separate container and when she sends it, take three or four pieces out for everybody else and then keep the rest for myself. That's not true. Or is it? Yeah, so um, here's what I'll say. The Christmas tree brownie is better than the cosmic brownie, for sure. So right now, Christmas tree brownie, First place. Next up, gingerbread soft cookie. And this time, Santa is still enjoying an oatmeal cream pie. Cream pie. 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 <laughs> As a matter of fact, he's a big oatmeal cream pie. Look, he's got oatmeal cream pies all over the place. None of these, though. So yet again, is this a precursor to disappointment? Let's find out. Oh, wow, this bag has the nutrition facts on it. It could be a very responsible middle school hustler. It smells very gingerbready, very Christmassy. See, I just got right there, right there in the Christmas spirit. That was... Oh, yeah, I'm all the way in now. This was the last thing I needed. We're gonna go put lights up at the house and go buy a Christmas tree right after filming this video. Here we go. Off with his head. This lacks in flavor in all categories. As a kid growing up, my other grandma, I'm talking about my grandmothers a lot on this channel, and my mom, apparently. Uh, my other grandmother would keep ginger snaps in the house, and they were much better than this. This is lacking in sugar. This is lacking in ginger. It also has a slight taste of chemicals, but it does smell like Christmas. So for smell, thousand points. For everything else, this is currently in last place. Not even going to finish this one. Haha, <laughs> there we go. The Christmas tree cake. There's nothing that needs to be said here. There's nothing that needs to be said. I'll tell y'all some thoughts I had leading up to this because we already know where this is going. I had these for about a week before sitting down to film this video. And I got to thinking, in what circumstance would you bake a cake or any pastry in your home and then wait a week before trying it and expecting it to be as good as it was the day or the day after you made it? The answer is never. In fact, a lot of times people are throwing the leftovers out after a week. Now for Little Debbie, we're getting these in October, so they should be pretty fresh. But I just thought about, we buy these boxes and we don't think about how long they've been sitting on the shelf or on a truck and we eat them without differentiating time of existence in any case. And for the most part, they're usually pretty consistent. So this tells me there's something abnormal about this. And it's probably one of the major contributing factors to life expectancy rates in the United States of America. Merry Christmas, kids. This is a classic. This particular one seems to have a little bit more of that wax coating than usual. I'm not complaining. It just does seem that way. This is not a zebra cake. All right, for those that don't know, say, oh, it's just a zebra cake with different colors. No, it's not. And it's not just the green crystals, although that is a difference. There is something unique about the recipe of these. The fall party cakes that we had, this is not that either. Little Debbie's doing something different with these, and whatever it is, we like it. And she knows it. That's why she releases them in early October now. Mm-hmm. First place. Next. <laughs> Snowflake brownies. Now, see what you notice there? Santa changed his sweater for one. I like it. He's on his way to the ugly sweater party, and he has in his sack nutty bars. But look what else he has. Christmas tree cakes. See? Little Debbie's messaging. They've already ranked these before we ever sat down to do it, and we already know where this is going. I'm guessing this is gonna be exactly like the Cosmic Christmas Tree Brownie, but maybe not. It's definitely got the density. This is about three and a half pounds. Got a nice little snowflake emblem there going on. Kind of reminds me of the old uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. And uh, it's got crystals on it too, blue and silver. Hmm. 
Much less sugar rush with this one than the Christmas tree brownie. Also, not having those chocolate chips takes away from some of that texture. All right, we're done with this one. Not as good as the Christmas tree brownie or the cosmic brownie. Very clear to me why it wasn't in Santa's satchel. But better than the gingerbread guy, third place. All right, getting down to the last two North Pole Nutty Bars. Now, Santa had the regular ones in his satchel, and I think the reason is probably the reason I've never had these. Nutty Bar is in my top three Little Debbies, historically, for those that are wondering. Swiss Roll, Oatmeal Cream Pie, Nutty Bar, and with an extremely honorable mention to the Chocolate Party Cakes, which are discontinued year-round. So at Christmas time, I've never bought this version. I didn't realize they don't come two in a pack like Nutty Bars. It's one in a pack. And they're much thinner, it's uh, half the size. So one of those layers is cut out. But even with that being said, I'm assuming that this is gonna taste like a regular Nutty Bar. But it is from the North Pole, so maybe not. So I think they've taken the Christmas tree wax, put it on half of a Nutty Bar. Still tastes nutty, it's still buddy, which is a good thing. Something in my mind wants to tell me that I like this better than regular Nutty Bars, but I think it's just Santa playing games with my mind. Man, I'm not going to let them do it. These are solid, though. Second place. And last but not least, the cherry cordials. And I think the messaging here is pretty clear. This is the first box we've seen where Santa is visibly distracted. He's not looking at little Debbie. He's not looking at you and I. He has been enamored by, captivated by the cherry cordial. Now, my mom, <laughs> here we are back to my mom and my family. Huh? My mom used to get at Christmas time, the uh, chocolate covered cherries when I was a kid and I hated those things. I did not like them, but yet I would eat them. The wonders of the addictiveness of sugar, isn't it? Now, yeah, and these smell just like those. I think that's what they were going for. So it's very much like a moon pie. Has that iconic dry Little Debbie cake. A good amount of chocolate and the edges have a bite to them. Let's see if we can hear it snap. Probably not, not that much bite. I'm just saying that the chocolate coating around the perimeter is pretty thick, provides some nice texture. Mm hmm And the cherry flavor is subtle, but yet pronounced. How about that? Here's what I'm gonna say. Because the Nutty Bar tastes just like the Nutty Bar you get year round, regardless of what Santa Claus tries to tell you, and because the cherry cordial has a unique flavor that you don't get year round, that you can intrinsically tie to Christmas time, and because that's why you're buying these anyways, I have to put the cherry cordial in second place, closely behind the Christmas tree cakes. In fact, I had both of these boxes in my pantry, and I will, and I'm sitting there watching Sunday night football, and everybody's going to bed, and I want a little sweet holiday treat, and I'm deciding which one of these to go get. It's pretty much a 50-50 toss -up. It really just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. So I'm gonna say they're a close second. They are a second, because this is an icon. This is iconic. This is a staple. If these went away, there would not be rioting in the streets of America, I don't think. Although many people would say, man, I miss the cherry cordials. If these went away, there would be mass rioting across the United States. So there you have it. I don't think any of us are surprised by the outcome of this. Now we have put together this hooded sweatshirt for the holidays. It comes in red, black, green, and white. There'll also be long sleeved versions of these designs for people that don't want a whole hooded sweatshirt. We currently have a website under development that should be launched in November. You'll be able to buy any Florence Foodies merchandise on that website once it is launched. But for now, if you'd like to get your hands on one of these hoodies, if you wanna just send me an email, I'll put it down in the description and just let me know that you'd like to purchase one or one of the long sleeve shirts, I will send you a link so that you can make that purchase now before the website is launched. And no, they do not come with the I Voted sticker on them. That was really good. I don't even feel sick. Uh, at least yet. I'm gonna go find some kids to give the gingerbread cookies and the snowflake brownies to. But in the meantime, I wish all of y'all all the best with the upcoming holidays. It is the most wonderful time of the year. As always, I appreciate your viewership. Y'all go get a couple of boxes of Christmas tree cakes and let's enjoy the season together. And in the meantime, y'all take care and God willing, we'll see you on the next video.